Oh, it's working. Well, my dogs just stopped barking furiously, so I'm hoping this will work out. He's settled down now. Reading, uh, well, I don't know when this started. <laughs> I think it started now. My dog was just barking furiously, but he just stopped. Thank goodness. I'm reading out of Lydia, which is the continuation of Bliss Afterlife. I don't know why I keep doing that. This is just a manuscript. Uh, Lydia is the story of a reincarnation. In fact, more than one reincarnation. Uh, it's the follow-on of uh, Bliss Afterlife, which I wrote in 2006 and finished 2017. Lydia uh, was started after that, so it's a continuation from a few years ago. And I have read the various chapter of Lydia. She's been born in March 2012. And we are now at chapter 43, which is entitled The Party. There is a big birthday party on the 5th of May 2012 for Pete, who is an architect now. Uh, he studied in Scotland. Tony lives in his flat in the south of England, in the south coast. And uh, they have all gathered at The Refuge which is a place Susan runs. Susan is the daughter of Liz. Anyway, you've got to read the other chapters or listen to the other chapters. It's not been published. Uh, chapter 43, The Party. The afternoon passed in no time. Everyone had their rooms allocated once Susan and David had arrived. The weather was lovely and warm for early May. They had prepared the garden with a fire pit and lights, and when the sun came down, they had lit the fire. Lydia still wide awake, and was as usual being handed around from one person to the other. Steve had brought his guitar and played them a couple of new songs, which were very different. Ballads, in fact. They had enjoyed listening to it. Holly had made hot wine, and they had finished their food, which had laid out in the kitchen. There were a lot of them, thirteen in fact. They had all been mingling with conversations taking place in various rooms, but finally all had gathered in the garden. All were silently watching the flames flickering, Lydia's eyes wide open. The dogs had got to know each other, Chap and little Frida, and they seemed to get on fine. Both were not in their own territory, and Frida had settled herself on Melanie's lap. Chap lay still at Sylvanus' feet. What a delightful and fortuitous gathering. Melanie had spoken before she had even realised she was going to say something. She had felt Mio around her most of the day. When she had Lydia in her arms, she felt herself engulfed in Mio, but it had passed. With Frida on her lap, she had relaxed and let Mio speak. After she had said the first six words, everybody was looking at her expectantly. She relaxed further to allow free translation, then sat up slightly. Frida jumped off to jump onto Holly's lap. I feel you all feel good. A lovely gathering of a true soul family. Melanie smiled slightly. Steve could feel himself holding his breath. So were most of them. Milton is on its way, on his way. You're going to be a big support to him. Lydia had brought sunshine. As Milton will, there will be more. Melanie smiled again. She generally looked serious when she spoke as Mio. All smiled back at her. Lydia gave out a gurgle, which made all of them laugh. Everybody seemed to relax, but still expectant. Chris could not believe himself how he wanted to hear more. He looked around and in the firelight with candles and faces alight, looking at Melody, he had a reverence he rarely felt. You are all in this. He felt Melody looking straight at him and he had to fight back tears. There was an ancient look in her eyes which he could not deny. All turned their heads towards him, and he could see Holly smiling, wiping her eyes. We are not here to convince. We are here to support. This world is changing rapidly, and strong hand, strong bonds, good relationships, 
a discerning mind and good information is vital. You have made this tapestry. Melanie has much insight through us. Do not be afraid to ask. We are all here because of the asking. Has it been predestined that we all come together? David had asked himself this question so many times in the recent months. Steve had wanted to ask a similar question and was relieved David had. You create yourself a blueprint. You all have known each other in other lives. All part of a so much greater picture. All of you wanted to be here for Lydia and Milton. New children required to manifest humanity shifting positively with Gaia, creating a new earth. Holly held her breath. My goodness, this was so surreal. Now Melanie was looking straight at her. Stay in harmony as often as you can. Make music together. Sing, drum. Melanie was now looking at Silvana who had tears running down her cheeks. Goodbye for now, and looking straight at the smiling Lydia, they felt Melanie was back. She got up to stretch. She remembered what had been said and felt a wave of happiness when she looked at everyone. Several noses were being blown, and Susan got up to put some music on. The radio came on with the whole system playing good vibrations by the Beach Boys, and predictably, Everybody joined in. The party had started. Chapter 44, Bliss. She was aware of the gathering, a momentous occasion in everyone's timeline. A long-awaited meeting of minds, a mixing and melding of cultures and belief systems. She always knew Chris loved listening to her. With her advanced age, she knew he could not deny that she was compassmentous. His world was being rocked. His wife's novel and Melanie, the girlfriend of his son Bliss, of his son Bliss, was glad that he had listened to her. Although as if she was telling a story, but a compelling one, he was the most intrigued by God, considered it man-made, which it was ultimately. which it was ultimately, but that there are indeed real forces behind the individual belief systems and perceptions he did not believe. He was not in his comfort zone. All others were somewhat familiar with metaphysics, and although the music was still, still playing, there was much discussion in the group about all matters unseen. Chris started to feel claustrophobic. Bliss knew Evelyn was just about to ring the doorbell which Chris could, would answer, and her arrival would lead to music making. All will be smooth. Bliss was satisfied. Chapter 45. Late at the party. It was past midnight and the numbers had reduced. Faye and Lydia had gone to bed. Chris had too many whiskies and had also gone upstairs. Evelyn only stayed for a couple of drinks and had left. The fire had gone out and the nine of them left sat in the conservatory. Anna had put something delicious smelling into the oven and they all fancied tea. Peter stood up and looked at Susan. I'm so grateful for this lovely party and your amazing hospitality, Susan. I love being here and Anna and I have been talking. Anna was wiping her hands and Pete took the dishcloth to put it on the table and held her hand. Can I move in here when I come back from Scotland? I reckon I shall be finished with everything up there by early June. Anna wants to come up for a week and then we come back together. I pay you the going rate. Anna was smiling from ear to ear. I love it, Pete. Susan embraced him. Of course you can. And whilst we are at it, I might as well tell you that I have decided to terminate the refuge as a refuge. If you know what I mean. She was laughing. Not that I shall not take in friends and family and whatever might occur. 
rent some rooms, the students, but I want my freedom back. And after all this time looking after the needy, I want to be living a lighter life. David took her into his arms. And Susie Q wants to be free to visit me. She gave him a kiss and smiled. Isn't it rather magical, the words Mio was saying tonight? <coughs> How we are all one soul family? She was looking at Steve, her ex-husband, who had his new partner next to him. Silvana had been so moved by Mio's words. She loved her work and had strongly felt that Mio was affirming it. I cannot tell you how honoured I feel to be part of this. Silvana almost felt like crying again. Holly and her had similar interests and passions. Steve and David played their guitars so beautifully together. They had sung together and the bond included her. And me, Anna had taken the current buns out of the oven and placed them on the table. And me, Pete had taken the first one and was chewing happily. Let's talk about all the details tomorrow. I am exhausted. David and I will walk over to my place. Do you mind if I take a couple of these with me? Susan was laughing. Everybody started to get up. It was past midnight now and closing the back doors, the general goodbyes had started. So that was the end of chapter 44 and I shall continue with chapter 45 another time. <coughs> Have a lovely Sunday.